week I'm testing the brand new Mitsubishi Triton. This is the GLX base model. I'm also testing the Mitsubishi Triton, the GLS premium model. I'm going to compare the two and see how they are as a baby drive. In the back of the Triton there's Isofix in the two outer seats. They're not within plastic guides but they are quite easy to connect to. Now there's only top tether anchorages for the two outer seats too, so it's only a two child seat car this one. Now to access those top tether anchorages there is one pulley which is fantastic, you only have to pull that one to bring the big seat back forward. And there's also, if you bring the central seat back forward, then there's two zips there so you can put your hand through and connect those top tether straps to the anchorages. Storage in the GLX and GLS models are pretty much the same. There are mat pockets in the back of both front seats. They will hold but not conceal an iPad. And there's a fold down armrest in the central seat back with two cup holders. They'll hold a reusable or a disposable coffee cup but a large refillable water bottle won't fit in there. The door bins in the back are small but they're a really good size to hold a large refillable water bottle. In the GLS model, the seats are leather so they're nice and easy to wipe clean. However, in the GLX model, they're woven fabric so drinks and food will get easily ingrained into it and harder to clean. Our friends at Fit My Car have given us these great, super durable seat covers that are completely waterproof so any spills or food you can just wipe off or even put them through the wash if you want to. One of the things I do love about them is they've got gaps so I can get through to the Isofix nice and easily and also zips in the back here so that I can access those zips to reach the top tether anchorages. Fit My Car have a great website. You can go on and put in the make and model of your car and find exactly which accessories fit. And they also have free delivery which is fantastic. Storage in the front of the Triton is pretty good. There's two cup holders in the central console here that will hold a reusable and a disposable coffee cup but my large refillable water bottle wouldn't fit in there. There's a well in front of the gear lever that I found good for my phone and in the top spec one there's two USBs and a 12 volt socket there too. The central console box is a good size in here which is great and the glove box will hold my iPad and my wallet as well. There's a glasses case in the ceiling that's nicely lined and the door bins are a good size in the front here. They'll hold my large refillable water bottle and my iPad fits in there too. Let's find out how much we can fit in the tray of the Mitsubishi Triton. Empty it will hold 30 shopping bags or the Mountain Buggy Duet Twin Stroller fits with 20 shopping bags or the Brightax Flex Tandem Stroller fits with 20 bags or the Mountain Buggy Urban Jungle Single Stroller fits with 20 bags. The Mountain Buggy Nano Compact Stroller fits with 19 bags. Or you could fit any number of dogs. When you start the Mitsubishi Triton, it has this really loud beeping noise until you plug your seatbelt in which is sure to wake or disturb any little passengers in the back. Apart from the beep, the Triton's actually really nice to drive. I find visibility is really good in here and it kind of shrinks around you and feels a bit more like a car to drive than a big ute. And the engine is, I think, particularly quiet for a ute as well. There's a few things that I really like, like the keyless entry and exit on the doors. There's really good in this top spec one that there are air vents in the ceiling for the rear passengers that I can reach from the front and there's a button up here which is great too. The media system in the Tritons is quite basic but the top spec version does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto which is really good but that's not in the basic GLX model. The screen in the GLX is also a bit smaller and neither of them have sat nav. When I put it into reverse now the camera view in this top spec one is better and you have different camera angles when you press the camera button as well. Also when you put it into park you get this kind of under tray view as well and a curb wheel view. In the GLX model you don't have quite as many options. So to sum up with the Mitsubishi Triton, it's been a fantastic baby drive. It's one of my favourite utes, especially because of that access to the top tether anchorages that just make child seat installation so much easier. 
It's really nice to drive, it's lovely inside, and that media system and some of the other features are great in the top spec version. Read the full reviews at babydrive.com.au